Hey guys! I'm here today to show you how to make this simple DPN cozy for your knitting. Um, for this tutorial you'll need a cutting mat, a rotary tool, or scissors. Um, either is optional. You'll need a snap installation tool, an eyelet punch that is also optional. Um, I just find it's easier to install snaps using an eyelet punch. Snaps in your color of choice. A pressing board an iron a sewing machine needle and thread and fabric in your choice um, you're gonna need one piece for your inner your lining one piece of your outer fabric and then one piece of inner uh, interfacing okay so let's get started. Alright, so let's get started. First off, we need to cut our fabrics. Um, we need to cut a 8 by 4.5 inch rectangle of our outer fabric and also of our inner facing. Um, and then we need to cut a 8 by 5 inch rectangle of our lining fabric. Okay. Next, you want to fuse your inner facing to your um, outer fabric according to the instructions uh, of your inner facing. All right, and then next, we're going to take our right sides together. We're going to sew our outer fabric to our lining. Okay, what you want to do first is you want to sew this bottom edge. Make sure this is lined up nice. And then, once this bottom edge is sewn, you just want to match up the top edge of your fabric and then sew that edge. So, And I'm going to show you right now how that looks, okay? So let's get to the sewing machine. Okay, you guys, we're ready to sew. So we're going to take our first edging lined up using a quarter inch seam. You're just going to sew all the way down. And I do a back stitch just to lock it in. And now I'm going to match up this other edge to that edge and sew those together using the quarter inch seam. What it looks like once it's sewn, okay? Now that it's sewn, we're going to trim um, a little bit of the bulk off the seam. pieces are trimmed, we're going to flatten them like this, pull it apart, and then just flatten it out. This is where your iron is going to come in. You want to make sure that your edges are lined up nice and neat so that when you fold this inside out, um, you'll get a nice crease on it. Using my pressing board and my iron, I'm going to iron this. bottle of water, a spray bottle, um, just so that I can spray a little bit of water to help create that steam. Um, I like it better than filling my iron up, only because I tend to knock over my iron a lot. I don't want that water spilling out on me. Now that it's ironed, we're going to go back to the sewing machine and sew up this full side and then only this top side of this seam. Again, using a quarter inch seam. This side, I'm only going to sew this top part. And that's all that you'll need the sewing machine for this. So I'm going to trim up these edges now. Okay. 
I like to trim all the little extra threads. So now that we have our piece um, sewn, we're going to turn it inside out, okay? This part can get a bit fiddly, but as long as you're going um, relatively slow, you should be able to do it uh, fairly easily. You just want to make sure that you press out all those corners also. Okay. Now once that we have this turned inside out, I'm just going to go ahead and give it one more press. Sew up that open edge that we had um, turn, used to turn the um, the fabric inside out. Okay, so we're gonna do what's called a ladder stitch. You're just gonna take your needle and thread, okay, <clears throat> and you're gonna go. Um, I for when I want to hide the knot, I usually go inside and then go up through one of the pieces, the edges, preferably. And then that way your inner knot will be concealed inside your fabric. Okay? Now to do the ladder stitch, once you have your thread sorted, you're just going to go in the edge of one piece, not all the way down, you just want to grasp the corner of this, um, the edge of this fabric. You're going to go through and up and then go over to the other side exactly where you placed your other stitch and do the same. You're just going to peek it out just a little bit. Now you don't want to do these too far apart um, but just keep in mind that the further apart you put them the more chance they have of opening. So you're just going to go back and forth doing that each time. Just going in slightly, grabbing that edge of fabric, and then coming out, and then once you do that, you go over to the other side, exactly where you placed your needle, and go up again, okay? And you're going to do that until you get all the way to the end, alright? Okay guys, we did our ladder stitch and now I am fairly close to the end. I don't know if you can see that. So on my last stitch, what I do is I come up through this corner all the way to the end. And then once I'm in that corner, I just go back through the other way. Just one last stitch to help lock it in. Go back down and then over again and then back up through the top. Okay. Once you've done this, I'll show you a little trick to hide your end thread knot. So what you're going to do is you're going to knot your thread but not so close to the corner of that fabric you just want a little bit off so you can see it like right there it's good and I'm gonna knot it one more time Oops, that one's a little bit higher than I wanted Now I'm just going to take my needle and run it through in between the layers of fabric. And I'm going to come out somewhere in the middle of this fabric. See, I'm only piercing the middle. 
And then once you do this, once you draw it in, it hides your thread on the inside of your fabric. So now I can cut this thread, but that knot will always be inside the fabric, so it's like you never sewed it up. So it's like it was machine, um, machine stitched almost. So I'm just gonna cut that. And then once you do that, you can barely tell where it came out. Okay, now that we have our side sewn up, we're going to take and turn our fabric, our lining to the inside so we're just gonna push it in. Just gonna open it up and then push the corners in. And because we cut our lining a little bit longer than we cut our outer edge, we're left with this nice little border around the edge of the um, the DPN cozy. A little pop of color. So I'm just gonna take and iron this one more time. our piece ironed we're going to take it and punch our holes so I like to take my piece and do the punch an inch and a half in and a quarter of an inch up okay so we're just gonna take where that little measurement is it's right about here I just kind of eyeball it I'm gonna take my eyelet punch and then just Press down firmly and twist, and it makes a nice little hole that I can put my snap in, and it's even on both sides. So, an inch and a half in, and a quarter inch up, about right here. I'm gonna do the same thing and punch again. All right. Now I can insert my snaps. Four caps. I need four caps. I'll need two in pieces and two out pieces. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between these. You want to make sure that you have both of these pieces because these pieces together form the complete snap, okay? I'm going to take my snap setting tool. I'm going to put the outer button on. And I'm going to take one of the ends and put it on the inside. And then I'm going to take my snap tool and press once it's seated. And what that does is smash that little nub that's on the, the outer button to keep the snap together okay now I just want to make sure that on this side I get this out piece so that it completes the set okay so I'm gonna do it again here And there we go. Alright guys, I hope you liked this tutorial of how to make a DPN cozy. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.